Go ahead and pull up the page. So, um, this next chapter, chapter four, is we start school again. All right, which is something that I'm looking forward to eventually doing one day too. <laughs> um, all right, so chapter four, we start school again. When we've had summer vacation for a long time, I, at least, think it's very nice when school starts again. Uh, if there's a way to... Um, do you guys think you could um, maybe mute? Do you, do you see where you have the mute options? So there's like not as much background noise? Yeah. No. There's a mute button. Okay. You want to hit that and see if that helps yeah. the sound? Mm -hmm. Zion? Oh, I can mute you guys too. Okay. I'll do that for now and then at the end I'll unmute you, okay? Okay. Perfect. All right. So, um, I'll start that again. All right. We start school again. When we've had summer vacation for a long time, I at least think it's very nice when school starts again. Bill says he's going to write to the king and ask him to close all the schools. I hope the king won't do that because I like school. I like our teacher and I like my friends. I like my school books too when I've put in when I've put nice new paper around them and pasted on um, labels with my name on them. So back in the day, the kids used to put um, uh, wrappings on books to keep them protected. So I think that's what she's talking about. Carl and Bill don't like their books as much as I do, and they don't put new paper around them unless mommy or Miss Johnson tells them they have to. Also, they draw pictures in their books. Carl cuts out faces from the comics. Dick Tracy and Nancy and all kinds of people like that and pastes them on top of the pictures in his geography book. I think probably the equivalent to that nowadays would be maybe Fortnite characters. <laughs> I don't know. Or Pokemon. Um, he says that there is more variety that way. This I can really believe because if it says under a picture, planting rice, oh wait, okay, sorry. Um, his face is Dick Tracy's. All of us children from the three farms walk to school together and we have to leave home at seven o'clock in the morning because it is so far. We carry sandwiches and milk to eat at school during lunch hour, but sometimes the boys eat up all their lunch on the way before we ever even get to school. You might as well have your lunch in your stomach as in your school bag, Carl says. Miss Johnson lives on the top floor of the schoolhouse. She has a nice room there with a piano, lots of books, and a cute little kitchen. We help her carry in wood from the stove. Sometimes she lets us borrow some books, and sometimes she treats us to chocolate. Wow, that's a really nice teacher. <laughs> Once, when we got to school, Miss Johnson was very sick, so we didn't have any school that day. All the other children knew about it because they have telephones in Big Village, but in Noisy Village, we don't have them. So this is back before cell phones. This is when people used um, telephones that stayed in one place and had a cord. Um, and we didn't know what to think when the schoolroom was locked and there was no children and no teacher. Finally, we went upstairs and knocked on Miss Johnson's door. <coughs> Come in, Miss Johnson said. This is a picture of the children. I'm, I'm assuming they're doing stuff for Miss Johnson. Isn't that nice? All right, but let's find out for sure. We went in. There she lay in bed and she was very sick. 
a lady was supposed to come and help her, but she hadn't come. Then Miss Johnson asked if we would help her instead. Of course we would. The boys ran out to get wood and Britta made a fire in the stove and put on some water to make tea. I swept the floor and shook Miss Johnson's pillows and Anna set a tray. Then we treated Miss Johnson to tea and sandwiches. Wow! Miss Johnson said she longed so terribly for some beef stew and she had some meat. She wondered if we would be able to make, to make it if she told us what we should do. We can always try, said Britta. If it doesn't turn out to be beef stew, it'll probably be something else. <laughs> but it did turn out to be beef stew after all. And that's one thing. Oh, now I know how to make beef stew. And that's one thing I won't have to learn when I grow up. Miss Johnson asked us to try some and it tasted very good. Afterward, Britta washed the dishes, Anna and I dried them. Carl and Bill and Olaf sat on the floor by Miss Johnson's bookshelf the whole time and read books. We stayed with Miss Johnson until the time school would have been out. When we started to leave, we asked her if she was going to be sick the next day too, and she said she was. Then we wondered if she would let us come back and help her again. Miss Johnson said she would be very happy if we would come. When Britta, Anna, and I got there the next day, Miss Johnson's bed was all rumpled, and the poor thing, she wanted some oatmeal. All of us together helped her to the rocking chair. We made her bed nice and smooth, and when she got back in it, she said she felt like a princess. Then we made her some oatmeal and afterward we gave her coffee and fresh coffee cake that I had brought from home. Oh my goodness, she's getting the princess treatment for sure. Wow. And then she said it was fun to be sick. <laughs> Sounds like it. Goodness. Um, unfortunately, she was well the next day. Otherwise, we would have learned to cook still more dishes. In the fall and winter, it's dark when we get to school in the morning and dark when we come home in the afternoon. So these kids live in Sweden and Sweden is in um, the north, like even north, um, in, in the north part of the hemisphere, even more north than us. Yeah, so um, because of that, the winters are a little um, more intense and it's further away from the sun. So then it's dark way more in the winter than even for us. We have pretty dark winters. Um, so let me find out where we were. It would be quite scary to walk all that way, all alone and alone in the dark. But since there's six of us, it's just fun. We walk through the forest nearly the whole way and Carl tries to make us believe that the forest is full of goblins and giants and witches. So perhaps it is, but we haven't seen any yet. Sometimes there are stars in the skies when we walk home. Carl says there are 2,500,054 stars in the sky and that he knows the name of every one of them. I think he made that up because once I asked him for the name of a star and he said it was Large Fine Star. But the next day when we walked home from school, <coughs> I asked him about the same star and he said it was called the Queen's Crown. <coughs> So Zion, you raised your hand. I'm gonna unmute you. See if I can. Um, okay. Yeah. There is more um, um, stars in our solar system than there is of little sand kernels. Isn't that amazing? We live in such a yeah. cool world. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, so when Carl's saying 
there are 2,500,054 stars in the sky. Is, is that the truth? I'm pretty sure. There's more. There's more. I feel like there's probably more. But I'm gonna mute uh, myself again. What's that? You're gonna, I'm gonna mute, mute myself again. again. Okay. Thanks, yes. Zion. You're welcome. All right. Perfect. Um, the Queen's crown. That's very well. All right. Yes, but yesterday you said it was called Large Fine Star. I said. Then he said, no, that wasn't this one. The large fine star fell down from the sky last night. <laughs> the queen's crown is a different one. <laughs> you can believe me. Can you believe him? I think he's making things up. Sometimes when we walk home from school, we sing songs like, I walk through forests, mountains, and valleys. If someone should hear, his, hear us, he would wonder who was singing because it's so dark, he wouldn't see that it's only us children from Noisy Village. So the next chapter that we will read tomorrow is Olaf has a loose tooth. That's something a lot of you can relate to, huh? You guys have mm -hmm. a lot of loose teeth. I'm unmuting you guys. Does anybody have any uh -huh. teeth right now? No. Don't go in the forest if it's dark. Tell them. Well, they're walking home from school. But yeah, that's usually really good advice. Absolutely. <laughs> and oh, and look, there's a snowman that I love can't see. Snowman that has to. Oh, <laughs> uh, Olaf is a little boy in this book. <laughs> oh, I thought you meant Olaf, Olaf. Oh. Not like the <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you could make a snowman with teeth. I feel like that'd be a little disturbing, but you could totally do it. <laughs> you can make a. You can make something. You can make something named Olaf, like a snowman. Mm -hmm. Oh, I know it was a snowman. Well, it was really good to see you guys. I'm sorry the internet's so glitchy right now. I wish it was a little smoother. Hopefully it's better than, hopefully it's better tomorrow. Yeah, hopefully it is. But I will hopefully see you guys here tomorrow at 11. Does that sound good? Okay. Yeah. Uh, Okay, great. All right. Bye, everyone. See you tomorrow. Bye. 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 Talon. Bye. 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 Zion. Bye. 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 Bye.